Hey guys, Silenced here, and welcome back to another video. In this video, I'll be showing you a back criminal bolts guide, and this is with the bloodwood trees. You can make 5 mil per hour, although it is sort of a daily method. You can do it every 6 hours, so technically you can't make 5 mil in an hour, but you can easily make about 500k in just a few minutes. So first, if you have not done this, method before at all, you're going to want to talk to the person right outside this bloodwood tree named Mami Bimba and you're going to want to ask how do I make the bolts and then just go through all of the uh, text tech boxes and options and then at the end you're going to want to buy some of these bolts so just buy 500 and that should be enough for one trip. So next you will want to bring about 300 to 400 of these bolt tips with you into the wilderness to each one of these green circles. The green circle on the left does require the ritual of Mahmajarat quest to be completed. So if you don't have that, you can't go to that uh, tr specific tree. But uh, the other three you can, and I personally only go to the other three, as I find that they're the easiest to get to, and it's really the uh, the really the ones that are worth the your time to do them. There's also two other trees which I will show. There's one in the Drakmir castle which requires the branches of Darkmar quest and then is there is a uh, another quest in the Soul Soul War Wars uh, teleport place that you can just teleport from the portal in Edgeville and this requires Nomad's Requiem to be completed. So here is the first tree and this is just uh, at the Chaos Altar so it's not very deep in the wilderness. There is also a guy that is banking that is just right up there so I usually go bank after I have completed these bolts. One thing that you need to uh, know is that you must make the bolts while you are at the tree. So while you're cutting these these uh, branches or these logs, then you're going to have to fletch them right then and there. And this also does require 85 wood cutting and 93 fletching to make, so you will need those levels for sure. But they also give a little bit of uh, XP as well, which is pretty nice and the profit is really really good as you can see it's about 200 GP for 10 of these bolt tips as you saw earlier but 10 of the actual bolts is worth about uh, 20k so you're making a lot of money off this you can get anywhere from 4 to about 25 of these logs per tree meaning that you really can make up to 400k per tree or maybe just 100k or a little bit under 100k at the lowest. So as you can see I just banked my uh, bolts and now I'll be running to the next location, location so I'll fast forward to that. And here we are, we're in the top uh, top part of the wilderness, so the northeast. Um, I just run there, it doesn't take too long and then I'll end up running to the next location as well. So as you can see for this tree we have gotten another 8 of these bloodwood logs meaning another 160k profit and yeah it's pretty quick just to get it and then I'm just gonna run up to the next one here you're just gonna want to run a want to run west and then enter the gate and then uh, run west a little bit more to the next tree so here is the final tree and this is kind of south of the pirates hideout which is that ship in the north part of the wilderness it's just a little bit west of the Wilderness Agility uh, course as well. And for this tree, I actually got quite a bit of uh, logs. I think I got 10, so that is pretty good. Um, and overall this trip, I think I made about uh, three or 300 bolts, so that means about 600K. And then here is the other tree that you can use if you have completed Nomad's Requiem quest and this portal, I just uh, jumped in the portal that was at Edgeville so you do need to complete that quest these trees don't tend to give you as much as the ones in the wilderness 
so uh, they aren't really as good, but this is a pretty easy tree to get to, so I would definitely do it if you have completed the quest. And then there is that tree in the Castle Draken, which requires the Branches of Darkmire quest to be completed. Um, you can use the Draken's Medallion as a quick teleport to get there. So if you have completed the quest, definitely do that. And this one, this tree is in the Ice Plateau, which requires Ritual of Mahjarat. And this one's a little bit more difficult to get to, so I really, I personally wouldn't go to it, even if I do have the quest complete. Um, but uh, anyway, here is some bolts that I've just uh, gathered over the last few days. As you can see, I had over 2,000, and I got 4.3k, so it was really easy just to get those. Just took a few days. Uh, you can actually do it uh, two or three times per day easily, as you, it... Uh, refreshes every six hours so yeah, it's definitely a really good method and it should be in your daily runs because it makes you a lot of money so anyway guys i really hope this video was helpful and subscribe for more rootscape 3 videos um, i post a lot of money making guides and things like that so uh definitely stay tuned for those uh, but anyway guys i'll see you in the next one peace